All right, let's roll. <gasps> Holy shit. The doors are heavy. Do you know what doors, heavy doors signify? Expensive shit. Hey, don't get a shot of my ass here. Lawrence Wiener. This is actually kind of interesting. This is like, the guy fucks with your mind. He says, I'm gonna give you a phrase and then you make the object up in your mind and then that's the sculpture. It's fucking weird. See, waves folded in such a manner as to render them dry. And so I then say that, then I think of the thing, and then that becomes the sculpture. So he's sculpting with your neurons and your fucking brain. It's crazy. You think that thing is broken or? <laughs> Yo, they dropped the curtain over here. <laughs> Hold on, let's stop. That's the Lucha Fontana right there, right? Let me just tell you a little bit about him. This guy paints the canvas one color, he paints underneath it another color, takes a razor and just slice the canvas open, and that's it. <laughs> Those sell for like four million bucks, by the way. It's 3D printed. Did you get in there and drive that thing? You drive the 3D shoe. Oh shit, it's a Matthew Barney piece. They pour hot metal into a, like some sort of ice mold or something, and this just fucking naturally forms. It's insane. I mean, it's sick. Let's see, something over here is catching my eye. Whoa. Yo, this is why I think artists make better designers than designers make designers. Cause this would be such a cool ass fucking table. I follow this guy on Instagram. Yo, he's the shit. Jose Davila. 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 <laughs> Jose <laughs> Davila. This guy's badass. Follow him on Instagram. Oh, here we go. Off white, Takashi Murakami, Virgil Abloh. I like this too. This is dope. Thomas, Thomas Haushigo. I can't really pronounce his last name, that's probably incorrect, but this guy's a badass. Um, this one's made out of bronze, but <clears throat> he also makes them out of um, plaster. They're dope, these are dope as fuck. Henry Taylor, badass painter, man. I love this stuff. I don't know why, but I like those colored pencils on the wall over there. They're kind of cool. Ooh, Simone Lee. This is the fucking shit. This is so good. She braids clay to look like, you know, like hair knots. What is fucking, it's really nicely done. This is a gallery in New York, yeah. Julian Opie. This is cool, this is cool. Ooh, this is great. Carol Bove, she's a badass. Female artist, that's cool. That's cool for a female artist. Like, it's pretty brutal, it, like it's like a fucking steel. Come check this out. Robert Indiana. I'm sure you guys have all seen this love thing. You probably wonder like, how is it possible for someone to you know, sell another one of those love things. Well, 
The idea is every single time that you change the color or you change the size, you can re-addition the piece. So this one here is just another addition. That's how artists end up having these pieces that they can sell for the rest of their lives. That'd make a really cool wall. That piece is pretty fucking dope. It is literally, so what they did was they cut out uh, foam on a CNC mill and then they like stacked it, kind of like offset it and then they just poured a bunch of resin on it but it kind of looks like marble, it looks like something, it's cool. I'm impressed on how something like as cheap as foam and resin can look so good. Did you just talk about how fucking packed this place is, dude? Oh, yeah, there's one more. That's cool. That was Ashley Bickerton. That dude left the New York art scene, moved to Fiji. Started painting on like coconuts and is at the top of the fucking art world and was like, yeah man, not dealing with the bullshit, just gonna get, fly out there, get paid, live fucking nice and make paintings. And he does and they're fucking dope and he's still showing it, you know, top art fairs. So, goes to show you can get out of this, out of New York and still be successful. If you're good. What? Take us to your booth. You wanna see my booth? Are we on the right floor? Okay, let's go. Oh, can I have Thank you. Right. This is the secret part. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. This is come into the escape room. This is where I want people to just chill out, lounge, watch the sun rise. <sighs> See, now I understand the function of this booth. After all that madness, you come in here, you chill, have a fucking water, and watch the sun, sun rise. Yeah, I think it was Picasso that said, um, sculpture's just the thing you back up to when you're looking at a painting. <laughs> you're still following me? Oh my God. <laughs> nah, you know, just making my way through the crowd. Is this the right direction? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 